पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णाद पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिषते ओ शाति 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 सर्वेभ्यो नमो नम डॉक्टर पार्थ सारथी भट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन संस्कृत भागवती सम्मेलन कॉलेज इन कोलकाता आई वुड लाइक टू गिव माय हार्टीएस्ट कंग्रेचुलेशन टू ओएब्स फॉर द 16th इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस अबाउट प्रिवेंशन मैनेजमेंट एंड रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन वैदिक प्रैक्टिशन आई आल्सो गिव देम थैंक टू शेयर सम ऑफ माय थॉट्स रिगार्डिंग this topic the um, due to some medical emergency uh, i am not able to attend there physically um, so, so i am extremely sorry for this uh, the topic um, uh, that i have shared um, here entitled to be um, a brief outlook about henotheism versus skepticism which is referred in the rigvedic hymns um, of sadaniya sukta and also in hiranya garbha sutra first of all um i would like to say that uh, what is conflict a uh, conflict is a unavoidable circumstance which exists as a struggle because of limited number of resources if we look into the classification of vedic gods they are divided um uh, they are uh, div divided um, according to their performance um uh, into three groups uh, first one is uh, prithvi sthana uh, like um, agni second one is antariksha sthana like indra and the third one is those sthana uh, like uh, deva surya in the rigveda we have seen gods has been worshiped as if each of them is a supreme authority than other which professor frederick max muller prescribed as henotheism or cathenotheism but apart from this there are also some other con uh, concept uh, which tries us like um, polytheism monotheism and also skepticism or to some extent mysticism which invariably proves that during the rigvedic ages seers or vedic rishi had separate conflict regarding the existence of god uh, is the uh, name uh, which one is reliable uh, one god a different god or beyond all of these is there any other supreme existence if not so then why this gigadama called as indram mitram bhadana magni mahu rahu divya sa suparna gurutvan ekam sad vipra bahuda badanti agni yavang matarishvana mahu so they are all remain same this is a journey of polytheism to monism or monotheism yasko also beautifully express this apparent diversity is, is like a noro rashtramiva means we are all different persons we have different identities different caste creed etc but in a larger perspective of a nation we are same united or one like uh, we are all indians and india is our country um like uh, we are all americans uh, america is our country i mean uh, that's like a so um uh, we, uh, um, um now we uh, come to our um topic uh, that uh, indra and the hiranyagarbha sutra as you all uh, familiar about the indra sutra that around 250 hymns were dedicated to him whereas only one hymn dedicated to hiranyagarbha then why we are going to compare it is because in the indra sutra he was described as a supreme authority had as in the hiranyagarbha sutra hiranyagarbha testified as supreme existence or supreme authority 
So is it also a conflict that we have seen in the data? In, um, um, apart from this, uh, in both hymns, some diction also shows certain points of agreement, which invariably uh, shows the shadow of conflict among Vedic spheres. Um, we'll give some illustration or I'll give some example here. Uh, like um, Indra, um, sometimes called as Hiranyabahu, um, or Hiranya who has golden arms and his whole appearance um, is ruddy or golden. In the past hymns um, of the Hiranya uh, of the Indra Sukta, uh, that is uh, second mandala and twelfth Sukta, the first verse or mantra, um, he in, uh, invoked him as yo yo dato eva prathama manashwan means he as soon as born endowed everything interestingly same intention had had been found in the hiranyagarbha sukta also where rishi said that hiranyavarta samavarta tagre bhuta sya dato potike ko asi sa dadharo prithibin dyamute mam kashmai deva so who is right here in the second verse, we, um, uh, it is said in the Indra Sukta that Ja Prithibing Bethamana or means Sajana Indra. Means he who fixed fast the shaking earth and tottering mountain he is called as Indra. Whereas in the Hiranyagarbha Sukta, we have seen that Jena Do Rugra Prithibing Chadiha. Um, it is also a conflict. In the second verse of the Indra Sutta, he was described as Opang Neta, means king of water. Whereas in the Hirondagarbha Sutta, same intention has been found by receiving extol him as a protector of all ocean. It is said, Yasa Samudra. Rafaya Sahayu, the fourth verse of the Hiranagar Sutra. Again, there are so many similarities and also some dis dissimilarities, uh, which um, points out that they have uh, some conflict about uh, who is right, what is right, who is superior than which one, etc. So, to conclude, or in the conclusion portion, we can say, that the whole journey means Sajaniya Shukta or Indra Shukta to Hiranyagarbha Shukta meet into a confluence where singularity is a combination of plurality, which is become more polished in the Upanishadic phase. Um, in the Mundaka Upanishad, it is clearly said that na tatra surya bhati, na chandra tarakam, nema vidyato bhanti kuta alabini. Means all shines is but the shadow of his sign. This entire universe is effulgent with his light. So the temporary conflict or the dualism or um, um, polytheism, um, um, etc. Um, became managed through utmost realization that beyond everything, there is another existence, which is unimaginable and also unexpressed. Here is the unique, uniqueness of the Vedas or Vedakta of the Vedas. So thanks, uh, this is my paper. Thanks um, everyone. Uh, if um, there is any question, uh, kindly ask me, and uh, I would like to please um, thanks um, everybody again. Uh, Sarvedhyo, namo namo. Thank you.